Copy that. You picked up your David St. Jock's time among the stars is about to come crashing down. The Canadian astronaut spent 205 days in orbit, the most of any Canuck. The previous record holder, Bob Thirsk, says landing back on Earth was unlike anything he'd experienced. Think of a, I don't know, Space Mountain at Disney World and multiply that by 10. It's just an incredible ride home. The journey home lasts about six and a half hours. As the space capsule re-enters Earth's atmosphere, it experiences temperatures of more than 1,500 degrees centigrade and speeds of 30,000 kilometers an hour. The biggest challenge is the gravitational force, more than four times St. Jacques' body weight crushing against his chest. NASA's Doug Wheelock NASA says the feeling the, uh, is difficult uh, to describe. My first thought was, this must be what it feels like to be in a barrel going over Niagara Falls, only the barrel's on fire. Then the parachutes deploy and the capsule swings violently back and forth. The Earth, sort of like a, a NASCAR crash site. It's a pretty violent landing. You know, they'll arrive with a bang and, uh, and then it'll be over. But even after wow. they've touched Eight. down on terra firma, yeah, they'll begin ten. another journey towards to recovery. In the weightlessness of space, astronauts experience a growth spurt. They can grow up to five centimeters taller, but without gravity, their muscle mass deteriorates by up to 50%, their bone density by up to 20%. In fact, some astronauts return home with osteoporosis symptoms similar to those of an elderly woman. Space. For days, astronauts will struggle to walk, even speak, as their brain relearns the difference between up and down. My heart, uh, in spite of the exercise on orbit, my heart just wasn't pumping blood as well as it did uh, before flight, so I felt lightheaded. But incredibly, before long, the body begins to recover. After about a month, St. Jacques should be back on his feet, even out for a jog. And after a year, he'll be back to normal, at least almost. A recent NASA study compared astronaut Scott Kelly, who spent nearly a year in orbit, to his identical twin brother. After Kelly returned to Earth, his body returned to normal, though some changes to his genes, perhaps from radiation, did not recover, which could mean astronauts like St. Jacques will carry a higher risk of heart disease and cancer. The benefits are that you get to do something you had a dream of as a child. You get to do something that represents your country in space. Jeff Semple, Global News, Toronto.